Here's the first game that I played on release with Berserker. It was a bolt that I really wanted to try and I think we instantly figured out what the strongest bolt is to play. So I hope you enjoy. Uh, for those of you who don't know how Berserker plays, I guess I'll, I'll uh, go over it uh, really quick though. You have Duffel Bag. So Berserker starts with this bag where uh, you enter Battle Rage after you drop to 50% health. So once you drop low, you're gonna trigger Battle Rage for 5 seconds. And that triggers a bunch of items. So the main thing it does is uh, items inside of this bag will trigger 30% faster. So it's just way better gloves, essentially, for anything inside. Uh, and your items are... You take 20% damage... 20% uh, less damage as well. So during those 5 seconds, you can speed up a bunch of things and you're gonna take less damage. And there's a bunch of items that synergize with uh, Battle Rage. Also, you start with a hammer. Now, this hammer is a unique. You can find it or craft it. And uh, it's used to craft different things. So the hammer on Berserker is actually really useful. It's going to allow you to make a bunch of cool items that you can make on different classes. So anyway, what can we play? We, uh, dude, I have a list of like 10 different bullets that I want to try on Berserker. I think right now, I'm just going to... I mean, there's nothing new in the shop. I'm just going to buy some random stuff that I see. Spikes have some synergy but not a whole lot. Also, we should fit as much as possible in the full bag that I want to speed up, right? Yeah. Mm, do I ever go for a sword? I mean, we need a weapon, right? Yes, yes, I should go for it. This thing is also zero stamina. It's pretty slow. It's kind of like a dagger. Pretty bad. But it has zero stamina. So... Yeah. I will do this. Still not strong though, actually a very weak opener. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's gonna be good. I should not have bought the banana yet. It also sealed though, right? Play Ripsaw. Hmm, Ripsaw, I don't know. The, the thing is, wait, we're, we're facing a ranger. I feel like we're gonna face mo mostly um, Pyromancer and Berserker today. Which means that Ripsaw Blade is not gonna be great because a lot of people are not gonna be playing Spikes, right? So yeah, here you see Battle Rage active. I mean, what the fuck am I facing? I'm in bronze, right? So this game should be a little free. Uh, but it goes active, my shit goes faster. Which also kind of fucks my summon up. But I um, also just take less damage. Nah, who cares about health ball, right? I don't think I get space either. Uh, a spike shield. Mm -hmm. Maybe I get a torch. Probably. I'm kind of down. Get a shield. I have space for shield normally. There we go. That works. I, I saved my money, right? There's no reason to roll. Sure. I guess because it's different to what he usually listens. It's loud. Yeah, I shouldn't be loud. It's more silent than usual. What are the new items? A lot. I cannot just list them off the top of my head. But the new items for Ranger Reaper and Neutral are on YouTube already. And the others are going live in like an hour. Is it still loud? It might just be the song as well. It's, it's normally more silent than usual, so... Should be good, though. So, what the fuck is this? <laughs> this is just single torch. Mm, I guess torch opener naturally makes sense on... Um, pyro. What does pyro bag do? It gives you a flame every round, essentially. Um, I'll show you next time I face them again. Oh, whoa, 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 chill. We haven't really seen new items yet, right? No. Uh, get another whetstone. I, I don't really need it, right? Aha! Okay, so this weapon is busted. I think this is one of the strongest weapons that is now in the game. It's an axe. It deals already 3 DPS. Accuracy is kind of shit, though. So that's one of the issues. Um, but it scales one damage on hit. So every time it hits, it gains plus one damage. It's like a magic torch without needing the mana or to craft anything. It's pretty good. Only the stamina is rough, so I think I sell the torch, actually. And, um... Yeah, we play this in here. I definitely want it in the bag, but I also want the banana in because stamina are in. This thing is actually... Interesting because it's different. Uh, and Goobert is also interesting because we can make Cheese Goobert on um, Berserker, which heals you for 15 or gives 15 max health and two random buffs. Mm. But Cheese is a legendary. I don't think I just pick up Cheese Goobert. Maybe I do though. Actually, maybe I do. 
I think I might look at it. We play Cheese Goobrid X. Pretty strong. I think this is a really strong weapon, yeah. At least a few times I played with it, it felt disgusting. And get a pig. Eh. Eh. I think I'd rather just save. No, I should buy pig. This is I will have to buy space still, but yeah. Does it transfer your progress? This game does transfer your progress, yep. Yeah, I'll obviously be playing the extra, extra large great sword. I'm kind of forced to, right? Uh, we're facing another Berserker. They're playing Hammer Broom. Okay, yeah, people in this rank right now don't know what the hell they're doing. But this is already at 7 DPS. Look at this shit. 7 DPS. Disgusting. Mm, do we just get these two? Gubert right now isn't good yet. But I think I will get it already because I love myself a cheese Gubert. i just put it there, sure. I mean, shields can be on the other side. My bag is still optimized. Everything that wants to speed up is in the bag. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I have scaling. Like, you could actually kind of work with this already. But this, you can still craft something with the axe. So, axe does get better. Mm, are we gonna lose a round? No. Because we still have our battle rage to trigger. That we take less damage, we just go insane. What is the... The speed is 1.15, 10 DPS already. It's, it's... I think this is definitely gonna get nerfed. Um... We haven't even used our hammer yet. Our hammer can be combined with stuff like whip to make a new weapon. But I think this game I'm just playing with X. Yeah. Oh, we can make uh, the new armor. So the new armor, Dragon Scale, gives me 40 armor once I reach Battle Rage. And I take 15% less damage, which seems really strong. I think I'm going for that. I think I'm kind of... I think it's just really good. Probably, I have the space, right, if I just don't play the Goober for a round, which is worth, and the pig. And then I do something like... Um... <laughs> like this. And so just put it next to the hammer and it's gonna combine. <laughs> you're gonna live vicariously through me until you're able to play. I'd... Yeah, I think Cheese Goober is pretty good. Uh, random buffs that are permanent as well, it's not temporary, like, um, Carrot Goobert is temporary in power. So, just permanent buffs on a Goobert seems good, plus the healing, of course. So, we see Bow here, this is one of the new early items for, uh, Ranger, it's just a, a weapon that crafts into, um, different baby versions of the new Bow. We didn't even enter Battle Rage and we already killed him so fast, it's insane. Actually, yeah, that's why Leather Armor isn't great, because you start with armor so you don't go into Battle Rage immediately. But, this is better because you don't instantly start with armor. Once you drop Battle Rage, then you gain the armor and you get the effect of the Battle Rage. So I like this a lot. Uh, I think we do actually want Stamina Sex, because this thing eats Stamina once, once you go fast. I don't think I'll need Mana. It's still two more rounds until Class Item. Um, don't think I care about cap or any of this shit. Mm. Oh, spike color. So this is a legendary item, only cost six. This makes your battle rage last longer. So you have five seconds by default. This makes it seven seconds. And you gain a spike. A spike is a spike, I guess, but it seems really good. I think I'll get that already over the pig and the stone. Now I actually want to think a little bit about positioning, because this can be... Ooh, yes, look at this. Um, mm, I do kind of want this square space here, so I can put the Goobert still in. Perfect. Looks good, right? We have five different bows now. Can they combine into rainbow bow? No, no, no. Like, you have the normal bow, the spears that you can make with a Belladonna and Lucky Bow, right? Now you have a tiny bow, you can also make tiny to spears or Belladonna and um, uh, Fortuna. I, I'm gonna play a little bit of Ranger probably, just to see the new items and to play with the new class items. Same with Reaper, but yeah. Good placement, that's good, right? Or they're good play. Yeah, we're, play we're playing in bronze, don't expect too much. Uh, oh yeah, I can show you the bag now of the um, Pyro. 
but um, basically once you enter the shop you, you lose a gold but you gain a flame instead so you get a bunch of flames which are used for a million crafting recipes in pyromancer um, and then if you put fire items inside of the backpack you gain five max health so you basically start with more health than most people yep oh do i know if my build is good or not if you win it's good if you don't win it's bad it's very simple <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's all I can say. Right now there's like, people are just playing the game and figuring shit out, uh, myself included. Maybe by the end of today I'll have a, like a decent grasp of what's really good and what's not, you know. In bronze everything is good, I haven't lost a single life. I mean to be fair I think I'm strong, I think I'm really strong. Gloves, okay so look at this, these gloves can also combine with um, uh, the hammer and it will give me this shit, where is it? Here, claws of a or dragon claws. This it gives me 10% to resist poison. I don't know why, it's just a bonus effect. Uh, but also during battle rage, the start items trigger 40% faster. So it's better vamp gloves, but they trigger later. They only trigger once I am in battle rage. So it's kind of a trade-off because you lose the insta scaling as well. Maybe normal gloves are better on ham uh, on X. But I think I'm still down to make them right now. Yeah. Well, I got a stamina potion because I do feel like uh, I'll need it eventually because... Oh, another armor could also be massive. I think armors are so good on, on, on Berserker. Because once I drop low, it just gives me the health to live and, and so much damage reduction. It's a lot of space. But I think I'm down to look at We just play two dragon skill armors. We go all in on the X. Yeah, we want to make this a flawless game. I'm going to save my money as well. It's a double axe craft, yeah. You know what, you're gonna need to answer this many times after this, but for my own quality of life, what is the battle rage? Uh, it's just uh, items go 30% faster in the back and you take less damage. For 5 seconds. Hey, he says. So the hammer is not combining, just changes the other items. Yeah, this hammer is just here to craft other items. So you can combine this with a bunch of uh, items like gloves, armor, um, to build new items specifically for this class. This was up to 13 DPS and we didn't even have Battle Rage active yet. Wow. Axe is actually- I think this weapon is disgusting. I think it's a must pick on Berserker. Uh, and these are all the new class items, so uh, I could go over all of them. I guess I will real quick. This is mainly for a stun build. It's a pretty bad weapon itself, but uh, it has a chance to stun once it hits. And the stars around it, you can put items and they gain plus 5% and plus... Plus 5% accuracy and plus 5% crit. Uh, you know, whatever. On hits. Also, during battle rage, you trigger 50% faster. You go even faster in battle rage. There's no stamina, so no real downside. It's kind of okay. Kind of nice. Uh, the anvil is whenever you craft any item, you generate a flame. So there's a way to gain flames in Berserker. Uh, and for each crafted item around it in the star slots, the weapon up top gains plus 2 damage and uses 5% less stamina. So I could use this, right? Because I'm just going to put this up top and then put a bunch of crafted items around it. And then um, this gets a bunch of damage. Even though the damage is a little bit less relevant, uh, the stamina could be really good on it. But yeah, I, I don't think this is the best item for this. Maybe it is this? I don't know yet. Because the accuracy is pretty low. It would be kind of nice to get more accuracy and some crit chance. Then we have Chieftain, uh, damage reduced or damage, damage taken reduced by 10%, take way less damage. Uh, battle Rage lasts longer for each nature item that's like on top of the star pattern. It has a very weird star pattern, but still. Uh, and every second during Battle Rage, you heal for 7 and gain 2 mana. It's just more Battle Rage, I guess, and more survival during it, which I don't think I necessarily need here. Also, nature items I don't really have. Uh, then Wolf Emblem gives me wolves, so if I want to play a wolf build, I don't think I want to right now. Um, but yeah, you get wolves offered in the shop, there's three kind of wolves. Um, and then if you have Empower, you can resist debuffs. And it also has a very weird store pattern, but weapons get 10% crit chance per wolf in the diamonds. So you could actually make X crit more. But I think this seems more consistent then, because it's simpler. This needs less of a setup. Last one is Shaman, it gives you runes in the shop. Now runes are basically gemstones. You have three different runes with different effects. They're really strong, really good. So the battle you're gonna look for each suck to gemstone. So with gemstones you generate luck, and you can use luck to gain random buffs. I could pick a lot of different items here. I could go with the fighter. 
which is just as simple as I slap it on the board, sometimes it stuns, it gives us more crit chance and more uh, accuracy. Uh, or I could go for some wolves and then get crit chance that way, or I can get a bunch of crafted items, which gives me damage and less stamina. Um, but I think I'll solve my stamina issue in a different way. I think I'm just taking this brass knuckles, and we're just going ham, we're just going fucking crazy, okay? Uh, also, the cheese goobird, I think I'm giving up on that idea. I should not have bought the goobird. But yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. We'll make another one of these armors. I might actually sell it here for the stamina potion. Okay. Now the position gets interesting. This will go here. This needs to be next to the hammer as well, still. Oh, this needs to be on the weapon. Red, right, fuck. This cannot see two weapons in the duffel bag is the main issue. I'll put it here, I guess. It should definitely see the banana though. The battle rage is 30% faster, this is 40%. But it's already in a fanny. I can do... I should probably still do something like this, right? Mm. We have like insane defenses. This should just be a flawless game if I don't fuck it up somehow. Which I can fuck it up, I have fucked up games before many times in my life. Uh, so how about this? This is the axe, the banana, whetstone, I kind of need to get rid of it. Duffel bag is not that big, so positioning is a bit weird. Because I cannot really put some two items in the duffel bag. Actually, I can! Right? I can! I can do this, and axe can go like this, it's still in the duffel bag. Oh my god. Oh my god, I want to do it different then, because I do want... Um... I don't want it seeing the banana. So like this. 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 We still need to craft the armor here. Got this here. Oh, this needs to be in. Ah, the whetstone is whatever, Red. Mm, I guess the whetstone is like one of the least relevant things. But how about this? Dragon Claw sees the axe, Double Fanny sees the banana, this is still in the duffel bag as well. Press Knuckles is in. Press Knuckles already gets 50% extra speed um, from Battle Rage, so yeah. I'm just gonna focus on Battle Rage to boost my shit. Mm -hmm. HP, yeah, what's up? Press Knuckles go faster than the hammer, you wanna wet some that? Mmm. It goes 1.6. It does go way faster, yeah? Oh, whoa. How the fuck did we get so melted? I did not see that. Holy shit, what happened? I need to I need to see what happened here. So, they were... Okay, we were kind of slaying. Our axe was doing good, good work. Battle Rage did not trigger yet. Okay, Battle Rage triggered here. We took 22 from the Molten Dagger. What? Oh, they have this. This gives them crits. Okay, so we just took a bunch of damage. Okay, that's fine. But then we enter Battle Rage, we take less damage, we gain a bunch of armor. Um, oh, Phoenix is OP, right? You guys don't know what Phoenix is yet, but this thing is absolutely busted. Because uh, what happened is I killed them. But... Oh, and they play this as well. This brings them back to life. Back to life and they deal damage for the fighter item. So they went back to life, they did a bunch of damage to me. And then they go invulnerable as well because of the phoenix. Or what? <laughs> I don't even know. Not yet. So yeah, they just come back to life multiple times. They have a um, Dark Lantern which reincarnates them for 50 HP. Uh, and deals damage to me. And then they also have phoenix which also reincarnates them. Uh, that was incredibly strong, wow. I didn't even have a chance, so rip flawless game. But we have two dragon skill armors now. I need to prolong my shit. Looks of riches will be nice, I guess. More of this. You can also upgrade the boots uh, with the hammer, which gives me dragon skin boots, so that's why they renamed the boots. Um, resist cold, and once you enter battle rage, you cleanse random debuffs, skin and power and armor. Kind of extra. I don't think we just spend money to craft that, yeah. Uh, I'll just roll. <laughs> More armor on sale? How much, uh... How much dragon skill armor can we get, you think? Yes? Oh, unlucky. Damn. 
Then on them. But they should be here today, right? That's what you said. I'll just double Fanny again. Yeah, because why not? I'm not getting Mori. <laughs> Maybe I should speed the knuckles, but then I can't see the axe. So yeah, probably not. No way, it went from 4 to add into 5. I have no control over that, Essex. If you craft another armor, you could sell it for more gold. <laughs> that is true, we could make money. So we enter Battle Rage here. We're kind of losing. Damn, we, we actually aren't that strong until we hit Battle Rage, right? They were, we were losing to this shitty ass board. <laughs> or not losing, we were just... They were ahead. Because this needs time to scale, but I, this is not good yet. I need to be making this weapon, which is made with double X. So I need to find one more X. Mm, I think we make the gloves first, right? Yo. Like this. Why don't you speed up both Knuckles and your axe with Gloss? Because Knuckles needs to see the axe. If I speed up Knuckles, I cannot see the axe. So yeah. That's mainly why. Uh, and Pintin, welcome. Thank you for follow. My SMS. Why? Oh, they have the new whip. So this is what happens when you combine Foreign Whip with um, the hammer. You're gonna get this, which... Um, and removes buffs on hit, so he's removing all my buffs permanently. They just enter Battle Rage. They're playing Steel Goop with it. Wait, actually I like that. So it removes your buffs and then it gains damage based on how many buffs it removes. We also entered Battle Rage. Uh, but I'm scaling, right? We're doing 33 DPS with just normal X. That's disgusting. X is an item you can just find. It's a rare item. It's dealing 35 DPS here. I didn't do shit with it, I just gave it some speed. Uh, yeah, that's insane. That's the power of X, I think. And it's not even upgraded yet. It can go at least twice as fast. Uh, Susplex, welcome. Thank you for flow. So I want this. I also want to prolong, like, I want to buy as many spy colors as possible. The longer Battle Rage lasts, the better for me. Um, oh, there it is! Okay, we can do it. So, our stamina is going to be fucked, but two axes do combine into a bigger axe. I'm just going to put this here. We're gonna probably sandbag one round, but it's for science, it's all good. I don't think I want to see a second X, I think I just go with this and if I stem out, this will just stem out. And this will keep attacking. That's my logic right now. That I have one X scaling, the other one stemming out. I don't know if that's good logic, but it's the logic I'm going for. Yeah, let's do this as well. I think I like a red gem in here. Do we need hammer for this round? I mean, hammer is zero stamina, why would I not play it? Right, hammer is always just free. Hard roll on the er early turns to find second axe. Maybe, yeah. Axe seems incredibly good. So I'm gonna stem out here again. I enter battle rage. Rip against another berserker. They just enter battle rage. They're playing with the cheese goobird. So he gets a bunch of random buffs and healing. I stemmed out. Uh, I'm still in battle rage as well. Yeah, I'm stimming out, but at least this gets to keep attacking and this stems out. Yep. All according to plan. Uh, crit chance is already up to 75%. That actually... That guy's crazy fast. Um, damn. Damn. But it's right, we won. We're now in survival. I can get 51 points still, because I'm, I'm bronze. But we combine both axes into the Giga Super Slayer 6000. Uh, the double X. Which... It's basically just an upgraded version. It's more damage. It's more stamina. That's why I invested so much into stamina. Um, but again, it's 2 damage on hit. And when, once you enter Battle Rage, it triggers an extra attack. And damage increase, uh, damage gain is increased by 3. So you just go even more sicko mode. Essentially. Mm, I'll get more if any. I'll get more stamina. Wall Protectors, I guess, would be good. Or Yellow Gems in Backpack, yep. Yeah, more speed also good, but I think I'm good for now. 
I said I'm good for it now. I'm gonna summon us extra. Like, sure. I'm running out of space. Okay, I'm gonna reorder this because it's getting a bit messy now. And I don't mean messy like the soccer player. Brass Knuckles will go in as well. I can then glove here. I'll put the other glove here and Hammer can go here. Hammer is kind of a bonus. Hammer does skill more per and power as well. I can see Knuckle. Wait, you're right. I can actually see Knuckle and X because... Um, dude, is it gonna let me... Okay. Because I can put this here. It's gonna be a little strange. Actually, it's not, right? I can do this. Okay, so like this. Yeah, you can glove the X and the Knuckle. And um, this will just go here, I guess. Oh my god, this is spicy. Hell yeah. We also have double spike holder, so our battle rage now lasts uh, 9 seconds, right? Ah, uh, this should go insane. Should go insane. Keyword. Something like this, we double trigger the strong stamina potion, we play yellow gems in backpack. Because stamina is- dude, wait! This has 5 gem slots! That's insane, what? I didn't even know! 5 gem slots? That has to be the most. Great, so it has 4. Okay. Berserker Bag gives 30% speed, um, the gloves give 40, so it's actually still better to have the gloves see it than the bag. But I cannot have both in bag and glove, right? Or clawed. Yeah. So claw is still more valuable than the full bag, which gives um, only 30% speed. Oh, you mean put the bag here? You're, wait, you actually can. You can, you can, you're red. I'd have to reorder all of this again, but that's fine. Would I put a vertical here? Or would I put it like this? If I put it like this, I cannot see the hammer inside. So it has to go vertical. Okay, yeah, I see it. I see it. I see it. It's just going to be a headache. <laughs> As per usual. This goes here. Okay, yeah, this, this is the solution. You guys are red. I didn't see it. I'll put the colors here. I'll put... Um, oh, shit. Wait. Alright, I solved it. Puzzle Master is back, even on the new patch, even with new items. I didn't see this duffel bag, but yeah. Uh, the double axe is in, Knuckles is in, Hammer is in. We double claw the axe, axes in four funny packs, a bunch of stamina gain. Uh, now we're just looking for a bunch of gems as well. Double color, Battle Rage will go insane because it lasts super long and we get a bunch of armor. And we have 15% reduced damage twice because of uh, the double dragon scale armor. Alright, let's go. Oh my god, we're facing rats here. Wait, bird? Uh, 51 DPS! And I only consumed one stamina potion. Maybe I can start putting yellow gems in the weapon itself, huh? I also have 8 stamina from the stamina sex. Um, yeah, I might be down to do this. Red gem in. Oh, this has 3 uh, slots as well, the dragon skill armor. That's pretty good. <sighs> sure. That has great sword, so we're <laughs> that's for a different game. Um, mm, maybe I'll combine another red gem. Vamp, no. So this is a new potion that uh, removes 10 debuffs once I have 20 debuffs on me. Might just be good tech, right, at this point. But, ah, uh, who cares about good tech? This cheese. Also not insane. We shouldn't be combining these gems. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Oh my god, it's an ice build. So these are frozen bucklers. They're basically normal shields, but they also inflict cold. Uh, ice armor, ice flame. Basically, I'm gonna get a bunch of coal on me. Maybe the potion would have been good to counter this, right? Because I'm not gonna have that much speed. They don't have the weapon that scales on cold, though. There is a weapon that scales the more cold you have. Oh, the potion would have been good. It would have cleansed 10 cold here already. Fuck, man, my, my speed. I still am kind of fast. Hmm. Pretty cold, 1.5 seconds. Okay, Battle Rage, go. How fast will I go then? I'm not in Battle Rage yet. 40 cold. Okay, so this goes to still 0.82 seconds. We have so much speed. I have no stamina left though. 8 and power, because of the potions. 
So Hammer is also dealing 18 to 21. Cooldown is 5 seconds, Jesus Christ. Oh my god, and we still hit a big 90 free crit there. Holy shit. Look at this. Yeah, this weapon is absolutely insane. I think if you just spam axes on Berserker, you're gonna be in a good spot. Uh, yeah, more time on my... Um, what's it called? Battle Rage seems good. Sure. Maybe the armor was even worth. I could get Leather Boots to upgrade it. But who cares, right? Uh, Wolpitinger is gonna give me stamina if I gain buffs. Actually, it might be worth it. Maybe even over the spike shield already. Yeah. I'm down. We speed up with the gloves. Yeah. More about gem. I might just buy it up put an armor. We could put it there later. I will combine the red gems because I think they're less valuable than just all of the yellows. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Um... So they're playing a pure heat fire build. But just playing a bunch of fire, this basically gives more heat and gets like some buffs on heat. Deals 100 damage once they reach 80 heat. And they play Phoenix, which I think is the most OP item in the patch because it just resurrects them with 10 health per heat that they have left. So they come back to life with a million fucking health, uh, which is very scary. <laughs> anyway, let's see it. Mm. See, they came back with 380 HP or some shit, or 280. But our- Oh, we stemmed out. Okay, so we got a soul stamina still. How fast does it go? It goes 0.55 seconds. This is almost 4 stamina per second! Okay, maybe we're going too much on the speed. 4 stamina per second is ridiculous. Uh, I should put yellow gems in back, maybe. Yeah, I should put ye yellow gems in back for sure. But the crits are big, yeah. Uh, the crit chance is just with the knuckles. I think knuckles is actually just really good. It's just a way to quickly get crit, right? 102 DPS! 102 DPS! And if you're counting crits, this is almost 200 DPS, right? If you double the damage. This is basically 200 DPS already. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. And I'm not even, like, doing that much. Oh my god, the scaling is so insane. Does it- wait, wait, wait. So the double hit is only at the start of Battle Rage? My Battle Rage is so long. But yeah. Uh, okay. It <laughs> seems good to me. More stamina, more Wolpertinger. At this point, sure. Sure, sure, sure. Four more runs to survive still as well. Yeah, why not? I'll put two yellows in bag, actually. DPS takes crit into calculation? No, not when you hover over the item. It does see total DPS when you look at... Um, so you crit for 100? No, I had 50 damage around, but I had 100 DPS, right? That's what it showed. That does not take into account crits. It only takes into account raw damage. That's why there's also crits that displayed. Like right now, damage is 6 to 12. So if it crits, it would deal twice that. The DPS is 9. This does not take into account DPS. Uh, or crits, I should say. Oh, it sifts with a heat build with Burning Blade. They're invulnerable because they play Crone. Okay. But we're weak until we hit Battle Rage, right? Which we're about to hit. And then we go Sicko mode because it hits. We go into a double hit here. We go into a bunch of speed. We go. This goes every 0.57 seconds. Um. Up. And we also stun a lot. Dude, it's actually so insane. 74 DPS. Chomping him down. Big. Three more runs to survive. What do I need? What do I need? That's actually a great question. I, I should check how much healing the gems do as well. More stamina sex? I mean, at this point, I think my stamina has been okay. More Wolpertinger? Nah. I actually don't know what I want. More speed is what I want, right? Yes. Obviously. So I'll put it... I need to put this at the bottom. I actually need to redo my space here. How the fuck do I do this? It's something like this still, I'd imagine. Oh, no space for the yellow gems in backpack. I'll get more space. 
It would be better to glove all putting her still like this and then this and then this, this, this. Oh wait, and now I can actually fit the square bag because I'm a puzzle master. This goes here, this goes here, 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 bam. I cannot stack it. I mean, I can if I do some more thinking. Dude, I hate thinking. Why can't I just not think in life, you know? There is a way, but I don't want to find a way. I, I mean, I do want to find a way, but I don't. I found it, but I don't like having to redo everything, but I found it. You guys proud of me? You have to be proud of me, please. Look. Look. No way he stuns out ever. This thing goes to four stamina per second, brother. Oh, we're facing the busted blade. Okay, cheese goobered pumpkin. Busted blade. The gloves are not looking at it, though. Also, bird. We start with just once. Um, cooldown is one second. Already two stamina per second. But yeah, we want to be taking damage. They also want to be taking damage because this basically this is great sword that only triggers once they are in um, battle rage, so it doesn't like have the empower effect right away. Okay, okay, battle rage triggered. So now this goes sicko mode. Three point five stamina per second um, at point. 5, 7. It already has 45 DPS here, and that is not counting the crits, which will increase with this hitting. They also enter battle rage though, so they also take less damage, and their busted sword goes faster, but I think I win? I do, I do. 102 DPS. I would say that's pretty good. I would say that's alright. Alright by me. 50 cent crit chance. Oh, the healing from the red gems, red. What is it? Uh, I healed 88 with the regular ruby, 69 with the flawed, and 47 with the chips. That's a lot of healing, honestly, with just some some rubies. Um, yeah, good weapon. Way better than Buster Blade, which is kind of crazy. I think Buster Blade is just not going to be good because of this. Although, um. This, I think, needs way more of a setup than this does when it comes to stamina. I'm not sure. I mean, this is a shit setup, right? This is not good. They're playing pumpkin with it. And cheese goobered. Two more rounds still. Got some space. Why is this related? Why is this rated only epic? Uh, This weapon? I don't know. I mean, you have to craft it. But yeah, this seems a free build that Berserker can just spam. Mm, but it seems counterable. It seems like you can counter this because it stems out really quick. Oh, right, I need to change the gloves now. Uh, which means I need to reposition again. I'm gonna lose my mind. God damn it. <laughs> there has to be some spot I can still put this. But then what? Then I put this back here and I'm stuck with the other one, right? Unless I put this here, but then. This is. Uh, help my space. I still cannot play it, right? Like, I still cannot hit the armor now. You guys are chipping. I can spin the hammer, that's true. But I don't think that helps me necessarily. I think the way that I have to do it is... Um, having these like this. I did it. I did it. Mm-hmm. Still two more rounds as well. Am I over optimizing this? Probably. Big brain again. Yes, sir. More speed? <laughs> I could actually do it, but yeah, no. I think we're good. I think we're good on speed. I'll just say it. More um, battle rage, sure, red. I don't think I need it, but sure. Hey, Abby, good morning, what's up? How are you doing? What does color do? It increases my battle rage by two seconds. Oh, we're facing a mirror match. So what is the difference here? Uh, they went with anvil instead, so this is using less stamina. 
<laughs> Dude, they actually, they, their anvil is giga stacked. Wow. They're using Wailer Stamina, they have a lot of speed gems. And they start with a bunch of extra damage, right? Uh, or my DPS is better, though. It's just, I have my Stamina Soul. They are playing more tech, though. How the fuck do you have a Sun Shield? Oh, wait, that's sick. They gain the heat or um, flames from Anvil. And they use that to craft a Sun Shield, which is normally only a Pyro item. Oh, that's sick, right? You can make Pyromancer items on this class now. Uh, and they have Heart of Darkness, Stone Cap, so they have some other defenses than I do. The total damage of the axe and how long the fight was. Sure. Let's let's watch the fight. I'm in battle rage earlier. Also, I think I'm they have double boots of it, but I have two armors. Yeah, okay, we're just way better still. Uh than the anvil setup. We are dealing so look, you said that crit is calculated in, right? But it's not. You deal 55 to 61 damage. Uh, which is 116 damage per second because I'm going at a cooldown of 0.5. So just times 2. So no, crit is not calculated into that because crit would make me double hit still. Or would make me uh, deal 100 plus damage on a hit. Which is 200 DPS then. If that would happen every 0.5 seconds. So yeah, our damage was actually the same as their damage. Our, both our axes did kind of the same amount of damage. Uh, the main difference is I think... My healing, right? From all of the gems. And the block. Yeah. But damage actually ended up being similar. I just killed more still than them. Actually, yeah, that's not necessarily true. We're doing this. We're literally the same damage out, but. They have the same speed as me as well on it. So, yeah, it's just the same. They just solve stamina in a different way. But it seems incredibly strong. Pyromancer Dragon build. Yeah, I, I do there's so much I want to try, man. So much I want to play. But we're just doing the axe now. Oh my god, that's it's final round. We go for more speed, right? We have to. We're legally le legally obligated to go for more speed here. That was hard to say for some reason. So I double trigger the stamina potions. Um I can still sell the box and then we sell the stone and we get another color, sure. So, dude, I actually has too many colors. We kill them way before Battle Rage ends. It's kind of overkill. You probably want, like, two colors, maybe. But it's kind of funny. So, our final build is just double X. I went all in on it. I lost one round to um, a really strong Pyromancer that we summoned. Reincarnated. Double Dragon Skill Armor. Um, so, once we go to Battle Rage, we gain a bunch of, like, sustain, bunch of armor. Um, claws, bunch of speed. This is, like... <laughs> 40% faster, 3 times on 2DX. We have double Whopper Tinger for buffs, for more stamina, yellow gems for stamina. Um, and Knuckles as our way to gain the accuracy, because this only has 85 accuracy, and a way to gain crit chance. Uh, and it stuns, it's just a nice bonus, I guess. Yep. Is it still Grandma tier on ladder? I would assume so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell Jambox, I want to be the first one to suggest it. <laughs> you were. So, they resummoned with almost 400 HP, but I'm not. Dude, yeah, I'm still just clunking it down. Um, So, they had so much heat. I'll, I'll show you guys. Uh, This axe was also insane. It's almost 800 damage. It ended up being 80 DPS. It's 150 now. We had to do so much damage to this guy. Um, Basically. They had almost 50 heat, they died, but Phoenix makes them resummon, and every one heat is 10 HP. So they resummoned with almost 400 HP and no heat. They also had a cold build with it. So uh, they were inflicting almost 40 cold to me, so this is not even going that fast. It could be going way, way fast and dealing way more DPS. Maybe the clan's poison uh, potion is actually just a good tech. There's also a lot of cold resist items uh, right now. But yeah, our axe was um, going sicker mode. And Brass Knuckles also did 83. The Forging Hammer only did 17. Yeah. Alright. Uh, the fight, how long was it? 11... Or not even 12 seconds. So yeah, I definitely overbought Spike Colors. But first game of Berserker, we just played Axe, which I think is one of the best weapons that it can play. And uh, went all in, all in on it and on the Battle Rage mechanic.